Patrice Evra. We move on straight to Patrice <laughs> Evra. My guy, you know, Uncle Pat, you know, I love this game, man. AKA, you know. To, to, for him to wake up on a Monday morning, do you know what he does on Monday morning? Excitement. He's, He's happy. happy. He's happy. He's happy. He was sad and depressed. Oh, God. To see him wake up Monday morning, so you know what, guys? Screw what I do on no Monday morning. I'm tired. I'm the, I'm going to get my chest out. 20 minutes. 20 minutes he let his heart pour out on the situation of Manchester United. Mm-hmm. He spoke about it. Mm-hmm. He said so much things regarding Ed Woodward, his level of incompetency, the people that he shouldn't trust, and how he trusted people from outside the stadium. Mm-hmm. And also Matt Judge, that useless man. Like, what, 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 that mumu, mumu. That useless mumu. Mumu. Like, <laughs> mumu, you know. Are there? If you guys don't understand that, of course, if you guys don't understand that lingo, it means, means waste man. Waste man, basically. Basically. Um, Amok, what did you think about that video and what the things that he said? Just give me a rundown quickly, Doc. Just about one minute. What's it called? I would opinion. say I was happy to watch Everett's video because I was a really sad fan after watching the Crystal Palace match. But when I watched Everett's video, it gave me a little bit of relief that knowing that the situation of surrounding the club and the sad things that we might talk about but we don't really know what's going behind the scene like you don't recommend you to watch this or nothing yeah but every video was a brief a, a, a fresh air for me i loved it because he did touch every single point that i wanted to know one thing i didn't agree with him he said that the gl- Avram Blaze or the glazers love match united uh, you can say Avram loved match united but i don't know if it's true yeah, but i told you he was being political when he said that yeah because you know he's still going for that position at United. So at the end of the day, you got to be nice to your owners. So when that, oh. that be that claim, but, I was, I but, but was he being nice to his owners? Because he mm. kind of slammed them yeah. at the same time, paying respect to one of the members. One. Just one. Avram Blade. Yeah, that's, that's the whole say, thing. That's the whole thing. I would say Evra. Yeah. I love I love he I loves love the him. game. I love him. Mm-hmm. Love um him. unlike other professionals in and around football. People are concerned about their future jobs. People are concerned that you can't really say anything because it will affect your future livelihood. He is Manchester United through and through. He, said- he is there to represent the fans. Mm-hmm. He knows of the last two years, all of these comments out in the media that have gone against Manchester United, he knows that it's to his detriment. As much as he would like to work for Manchester United in the future, mm-hmm. he feels like it's more important for the fans to have their say. Of and course. he's representing us. Yes. I would love to see more people like that to come out. Maybe Rooney to come out and say he's disappointed. Maybe the likes of David Beckham to come out Ferdinand and say... Ferdinand did come out. Van Persie did slam Oli Oli. And guess he's been coming out a lot. Who? Um, Berbatov. He Berbatov. didn't play that much, yeah. that long for Manchester United. Berbatov loved but his he love. shows, he loved Manchester so much that that's where he his entire career but he, he, no no he loves Manchester United he doesn't even think about Tottenham he, he doesn't shit, even though. think about Tottenham I've got this guy on Instagram his Instagram page is actually Manchester United so you see this ex player showing love for the club I love that right. but to be honest with you it's how much how much you're going to take from this how that what I can t- say I took positive from everyone's video but how, how many times are we going to take from people saying this and that? We need to see actions. We definitely True. need to see actions. But for us, to, for actions to be taken, a lot of people need to voice their opinion. We've been saying this a long time that Manchester United are being ruined by the, by the owners and the people that run the club. So it's nice, it's, 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 it's nice to see one of our ex-players who mentioned that said he gave his life to this club. To see this club like this. A lot of players gave their life to the club. Everything. Their time, they had to, the fact that Ever said when he signed and knew myself and he saw his child, his child said he hates Manchester United. So Why? Because they took his daddy away from him. That's how much of a sacrifice he made. he made for this club. So for them to just tarnish the club like that is disrespect to every legend, and every painful player, even watch Sir Alex play. Ferguson. And what hurts me the most is that a man that said that's always happy towards the end of that video says, I don't even know if I can say I love this game no more. That's how upset he was. <laughs> like, he doesn't even know if it's right to say I love this game. But I love this game. It wasn't the same I love this game passion that he normally does. He was hurting. It, it's just sad. It's sad, guys. Guys, in the comments, you can let me know what you thought about that video. Whether you think that ever was right to say this and that's why I said what you agreed on in, in these comments. Let us know. We would like to know, guys. 